I give to live where you are? What would I pay to stay here beside you? What would I do to see you smiling at me? Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we could stay all day in the sun, just you and me, and I could be part of your world. Hello everyone, so this is Dolls Will Be Dolls, and in front of you I have my little mermaid, Ariel, right? The Holly Bailey doll, right? Um, I did take her out of the box already, and I broke her tail by a mistake um, when I was removing it. I'll show you. Uh, as you can see, so I got her on the stand. She is really pretty. I am going to zoom in on her face, but I made a mistake here. I accidentally broke her tail, so... I was taking it off and I kind of snapped it so oops but what I do plan to do is I am going to put this doll on a made to move body eventually I don't have one right now but I think I'm gonna put her on a made to move body so let's zoom into her beautiful face let's zoom in okay Okay, let's fix it. Okay. I think she's so pretty. Um, I do think... Oops, excuse me. I do think she looks like Holly um, Bailey. She does look like her. You know, like a cartoonish. She's a doll. Okay, and she's beautiful. And she do have these beautiful uh, long red locks or twists in her hair and some of it is just loose hair I'm gonna bring her a little closer hopefully the camera doesn't mess up let's see if I can lighten it a little bit one second okay so I'm back so I actually did lighten the camera so I don't know if that's too much but you can see her face and she's you know they they say that these are more like cartoon eyes I don't know but she is very very pretty um, she does have that cute little mole on her forehead like Holly uh, she has nice lips and she has like her eyeshadow looks a little I don't know is that like a light blue I like the makeup on her face because it's very subtle it's not too strong okay she has these cute baby hairs you can see them a little bit maybe I got too much light you can see her baby hairs the doll is beautiful okay but I will put her on a made-to-move body because I want her to have more articulation I'm gonna move zoom back a little more maybe this is a little bit too bright let's see so yeah, so her arms just go out to the sides like this. And okay, as I was saying, her arm her arms go out to the side like this. Okay, she does have rotation in her head. And let's just see. Okay, this is her, her her scales. The colors are very pretty. I love the top, lavender with the lace on the top. And the, like, I don't know, like a sea green. That's just like a sea green. And as you can see, she got mixtures of blue and sea green. And this is her fish scales. And I accidentally broke her tail. I'm going to somehow find a way to fix it. So I'm disappointed that I did that. I may have to buy another doll. I just had her on a stand so she can stand up. So she looks, she's pretty short. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take her off of the stand for a moment. Let's see if I can do that. Oh boy. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so she's off the stand. 
So if you wanted to sit her down, she could sit. She can sit down. I love the color of her hair. I think it's so pretty. So she can sit down. I'm gonna see if I could put her tail back on. So I'll be back. So the thing is, this right here, I don't know when I popped it out to remove the fins, the tail, I don't know if that means it's broke. I'm sorry, sometimes this uh, lens uh, quality is not the best. I don't know if that means that it's broke, but I'm gonna try to put it back and see. Most likely, I'm gonna have to do it off camera. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm back. So I was able to pop her tail back in and I do think it's really pretty. The colors are gorgeous. So I'm liking all of these different, like the sea greens and blues and pinks and then the see-through where it looks kind of iridescent. I don't know, but it's pretty. I fixed it. It's a little wobbly because I did pop it. I popped it wrong and on the back, um, let's see on the back. Okay, this is what she looks like on the back. I do love the lavender. I do love that it looks like fish scales. So I think that's cool. But on the back, it's just um, sea green. And you can see her fins. Okay, I am so happy I have this doll. I'm really happy that I have her because I am a big fan of Holly Bailey and her sister. Chloe Bailey, those girls are magnificent. And Holly seems like an angel. Oh my God, you know. So I am going to go see The Little Mermaid soon because I didn't see it. So I'm going to go see it with my two daughters. And I definitely will make a video about my experience watching that. Um, all the little clips that you see on YouTube looks amazing. The movie looks amazing. Holly is like so perfect to play Ariel, right? Because she has... The essence of her, uh, her sweet innocence, um, her beautiful voice, her beautiful face. <laughs> oh my gosh, she just, she just she just fits the bill. Okay, I just didn't get why people were upset about the skin color because the Little Mermaid Ariel is a fish. <laughs> uh, she's not real. It's a fictional character. So, in my opinion, anybody could have played the little mermaid so listen to me Rob Marshall knew what he was doing when he chose um, Holly Bailey to play Ariel so anyway I think the doll is beautiful tell me what you think gorgeous gorgeous just like Holly you know I love the hair and I love that her hair is thick oops excuse me it's really thick and I love that you can style it the way you want she would look so pretty even in you know you want to twist her hair up and updo I think she looks so pretty like that also I mean the doll is pretty okay so I'm happy that I have her and I'm happy that I was able to put her tail back on so yeah this is Ariel guys this is the little mermaid and if you haven't seen the movie go see it and if you do see the movie, please let me know what you think of it. So anyway, I'm signing off. Bye.